Welcome. I'm Annie Marjorie Sosa, Dean of the College of Science at the University of Texas at El Paso. And I want to welcome you to our newest building, the Chemistry and Computer Science Building. My name is Richard Shepoyster. I'm Dean of the College of Engineering here at the University of Texas at El Paso. Construction crews broke ground in the new Chemistry and Computer Science Building in March 2009. Since construction, since we broke ground, was about three years ago. Just around the same time that we were developing, as a university, our strategic plan for research. Uh, there was a need, uh, quite frankly, because of the expanding research programs uh, here at UTEP and the expanding enrollment here in science uh, and engineering. One of the important things about the synergy of the work done here is the fact that it will motivate us and move us another step forward towards Tier 1. The kind of research that we do in particular in this building will be facilitated by the, by the construction of the facilities. We have very unique uh, research units within the building, all of which should facilitate not only the growing intellectual capacity of the institution, but indeed the ability for us to develop and graduate students with state-of-the-art learning as well as being able to manage and handle the equipment that is state-of-the-art. Computer science area, which is in my college, the, uh, the work there is uh, in a variety of different fields. There's a lot of work that uh, deals with uh, cybersecurity, uh, there's a, a, a strong uh, software engineering where they actually develop and learn how to develop software and, uh, and maintain uh, software. There is research there on uh, human-computer interactions and th those are very state-of-the-art classrooms. Uh, um, we are going to a mode now where we're going to uh, virtual computer classrooms where students have uh, laptops and access to all of our software and these classrooms have places where they can plug their laptops in and they can work on their laptops in, in the classroom and work on software with, within the classroom and be very uh, interactive that way. The fact that we can get people together in these spaces and they're designed so that we can do that I think is going to continue to help spur our research growth. Here.